the world and seen its wonders, from the Dardanelles to the mountains of Peru. But there's no place like London. I feel home again. I can hear the city bells ring, whatever I do. No, there's no place like London. Mr. Todd, sir? You are young. Life has been kind to you. It is here we go our separate ways. Farewell, Anthony. I will not soon forget the good ship Bountiful nor the young man who saved my life. There's no cause to thank you for that, sir. It would have been a poor Christian indeed who had spotted you pitching and tossing on that raft and not giving you the But there's many more Christian would have done just that and not lost a wing sleep for a time. Sorry, shipwreck is your affair. And yet, during the many weeks of the voyage home, I come to think of you as a friend. So if trouble lies ahead of you, if you need help or money. No! There's a hole in the world like a great black pit, and it's filled with people who are filled with shit, and the vermin of the world inhabit it, and it goes by the name of London. At the top of the hole sit the privileged few, making mock of the vermin, the lower zoo, turning beauty into greed and filth. I too have sailed the world and seen its wonders. For the cruelty of men is as wondrous as Peru. But there's no place like London. There was a barber and his wife, and she was beautiful. A foolish father and his wife. She was his reason and his life. And she was beautiful. And she was virtuous. And he was naive. There was another man who saw that she was beautiful. A pious vulture of the law, who with the gesture of his claw removed the barber from his plate. Then there was nothing but to wait, and she would fall so soft, so young, so lost, and so
There's a hole in the world like a great black pit, and it's filled with people who are filled with shit, and the vermin of the world inhabit it.